Hey YT, it's your girl Naya and I'm back for part two of my IMAX haul. Um, I want to start this out first. I want to be, I want to show you guys a couple of the um, like postcards that I collected while I was there. Uh, this one is for Miron. Look at that. That is just awesome. Miron um, produces some really awesome, awesome products. Uh, Hakudu brushes. Ha and if you've never gone to this website, please go to this website and watch how these brushes are made. These brushes are really, really awesome. Um, also, um, I spoke with the lady who does the Beauty Talk um, blog talk radio show in reference to beauty you can call in um, write in and ask any kind of beauty questions so please check that out um, OCC my guy David he was like I said he was definitely definitely on point had a blast okay so um, with the first part I did a little rushing I said I wasn't gonna swatch too much and I felt kinda bad that I didn't so I'm just gonna come back quickly and run through um, the Jessie Girl Sparkle um, eye dust and this one here is in Penny Arcade as you can see and I'm gonna give you guys a little swatch of that so there is Penny Arcade. The next one is um, in Sunstone. And it's that peachy coral one that I was telling you about. And we're going to put Sunstone right next to that. And it, when I swatch it, it comes out like really, really golden -y almost. The next one, I put the labels on the bottom so I'm looking up. Don't think I'm crazy. Next one is in Sunset Boulevard. And it looks like that. And do a little swatch of that one. And that's like a pinkish coppery color there. And they're all shimmery. Very shimmery. Uh, this next one is in Blue Moon. And that's what Blue Moon looks like. almost reminds me of like the max reflex glitters and there is blue moon this next one is in antique green and that's what the antique green looks like and get a little of that and put that one right there and that antique green comes out really teal so there is antique green and my favorite of favorites is Troublemaker. It's that beautiful blue. But when you swatch this, it's like a serious blue-based teal. And there is Troublemaker. Also, while I was at Jesse Girls, I told you guys I picked up um, that polish. And this one is in uh, Julie G. And they named this one after her. And it is a pretty pink it looks like that and I also picked up a couple of their lip glosses a lot of them are in packages being shipped to other people but the one I got for myself is in papaya and it looks like this nice little orange with glitter okay so then I stopped back at LA Splash and I picked up one of their highlighters and this one is in nude and it looks like this. Give you a swatch of that. So there is the nude. And I will put that one right there. So there is that highlight color right there. My next stop was they had a lot of brush companies there. Um, Confidential. Confidential. Uh, I know I'm going to say the name wrong, Krakuti or something like that. Um, they had some really awesome brushes. Hakuda was there. Um, so I purchased one of the Hakuda brushes. And um, this is the G552. It is blue squirrel and goat hair. This brush was like $33. And it looks exactly like um, Max 165. Because, um, you know, the 138 is the bigger one. Um, but this brush is, like, super 
duper 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 soft. This brush was 33 bucks, guys. Also, I picked up, I needed a fan brush, so I got this fan brush um, from, I think it was like Styles Company, and this brush was like $5, so I got this brush. Also, um, I went back to Miron, and I picked up this Paradise palette, and when I show you guys these colors, they are so, so vibrant. When I was reading the packet insert a lot of these colors they tell you specifically which ones can't go on your eyes and which ones can't go on your lips because evidently they ooh, excuse me they will stain something terrible so those are the colors in that palette and this is considered the uh, pastel palette right there also, when I was at um, Miron, I picked up one of their Celebrate HD Pro foundations. I wanted to give this one a try. And this is supposedly in medium dark, but I think she gave us the wrong one because that is the color. And of course, next to, well, it may. I mean, because, you know, I, I got a lot of yellow undertones. So, uh, this may work so I'm gonna give this a try and see how that works also my next stop was up into uh, Yabby Cosmetics and I was over at Yabby and I'm checking out these I'm filling out my little list to get my little shadows and I don't know I'd never seen Yabby before so I'm like writing all these numbers down and the lady goes okay you know these are blushes and I was going okay and you know they're about that big normal eyeshadow set, um, size and I'm thinking to myself well okay if those are blushes where are your eyeshadows and guys I would not have believed that Yabby's eyeshadows are this big they are super super tiny um, I was standing there and all of a sudden I hear this person say hey Naya and I turn around shout out to my girl Walla JMC Alexis had a blast hanging out with you. You are truly, truly awesome. So me and Alexis was going back and forth trying to, you know, pick out our colors and we swatch and stuff. But I was shocked that these things were so little. So I um, got quite a few of those and they ran out of palettes. So I then went to um, Alcone or I think it was Nigel Beauties and picked up one of these uh, little Z palettes. So... I'll put all these colors inside of there and I'll come back once I get it all set up and show you guys and swatch the colors of these Yabby eyeshadows. Okay, my next stop was I then picked up um, this little gel liner and this one is in uh, Violet Shimmer. And that looks like this. Nice almost eggplanted color and there's the violet shimmer and I'll put that right out here so that's the violet shimmer and the last one that I picked up is in um, green yeah green shimmer and it looks like that and there is the green one and I'll put that one right up here so there is the uh, green shimmer. Okay, guys. Now my last, very last stop was to go back over to um, I'm um, Inglots, and before I got over there, I happened to turn around and I happened to see um, that uh, Alcone also had uh, the Parian Spirits, and I'd seen quite a few people do reviews on this, and I just wanted to try the product, so I picked that up. So now I get to end glots and I'm like, okay, please, that line is disgustingly long. I hope my stuff is completely ready. And it was. So one of the first things that I picked up um, was this um, gel liner. And this is number 80. Oops, turn that around. 80. And it looks like this. It's like a burnt orange. And give you a swatch of that put that right out here so that is the number 80 gel liner from Inglots 
I also picked up one blush from Inglots, and this is number 82, right there. And number 82's blush is like this mauvish color. And I'll swatch that right there, and I'll put that right out there. So there's that pinky mauve blush from Inglots, number 82. Last thing was to check my bags and see my palette. I couldn't wait to see it. And when I say, guys, these palettes by Inglot are totally, totally awesome. Um, I got a tin pan palette and uh, I love the casing. Uh, it truly, truly protects your shadow. So there are the colors that I chose. I chose a combination of some pearls, some shimmers. Um, and a couple of mattes are in here. So um, I'll come back in another video and do a review of all of my Inglot shadows. Um, this lid is just, the, the magnet on this palette is awesome because as you see, you know, it's like already stuck and it doesn't take much for this to stay to protect your shadows when you're working on a client you can take this cover and you can physically place it on the bottom so that you don't lay it down and, and forget it or lose it so these are awesome also while I was there I picked up like I said a quad that I intend on doing a 500 subscriber giveaway which I'm going to let run till um, the 30th of this month um, you must be subscribed to my page. You must be 18 years or older. Um, and I also kind of want you to leave a comment down below telling me if you had an opportunity to go to IMATS, what would have been your very first stop? Where would you have spent probably all of your money or close to all of your money if you had an opportunity? Uh, here is the quad right here. Um, I have also picked four eyeshadows and I have them here now so I can kind of quickly tell you what they are and you can go to the site and look at them but on top of that I am also going to allow for the winner to go to the site pick four more colors inbox me with that information and I will have Inglots prepare another quad for you and I will give them your information and have them ship directly to you. So this very first one is um, number, uh, it's a pearl and it's number 482. It's a blue. This one right here is a, um, a matte and it is 366. And it's a kind of burnt orange red. This next one here is another pearl, and this is 409. Nice brown. And this last one over here is another pearl, and it is 383. And it's a nice um, peachy highlight color. So there we go. 500 subscribers by the by, th by the 30th. Um, when the 30th comes, if I have not reached 500 subscribers, I will allow the giveaway to go one more week to the following Friday. At what at which time I will close the giveaway and I will choose a winner and I will contact that winner in their inbox, get their information. Um, by then, everyone should already go to Inglots and start thinking of four different colors you would like to have and this way when you, it when and if you're chosen you will already have that information and we can get that done up and sent to you immediately all right guys hopefully you enjoyed everything you saw if you want me to do a review or swatch anything further please leave a comment down below also take care and i hope everyone has a wonderful week bye